Hey everyone, today I'll be giving my first impressions of the SteelSeries Apex 3 10 keyless keyboard. I've had a Black Widow Chroma since 2015, the original one, and I decided it was time to upgrade. I wanted something smaller and lighter so that I could easily move it around my desk when shifting positions or using my joystick on the desk, so I went for the Apex 3 TKL. Let's start with the specs. The SteelSeries Apex 3 TKL keyboard is currently $39.98 on Amazon and it usually retails for $44.99. It uses mecha membrane switches which provide a tactile and quiet feel. However, they do feel mushy compared to other switches like the Razer Green switches, the Logitech Blue switches, and Cherry MX Reds. With the specs out of the way, let's get into build quality and design. The build quality of the Apex 3 TKL is very nice and its lightweight plastic construction feels sturdy and not cheap. I much prefer the lightweight construction of the Apex 3 compared to the heavy bulky Razer Black Widow Chroma. Even if I had the Black Widow TKL, I think it would still be heavy because of the materials that they use for that one. The keycaps on the Apex 3 look decent and they feel nice and light. One thing I don't like about the keycaps is that the shift key is pretty loud when double pressing it for things like tactical sprint in Warzone and Battlefield. The Apex 3 has both a media wheel and a multimedia button and they both feel very nice to use when scrolling and pressing. and I'm really happy they're included, especially for this price point. I mentioned that I don't like how loud the shift key can be. Another thing that I don't like about the design of the keyboard is where the caps and scroll lock lights are. They're placed in a very useless spot and you won't be able to see them due to the keys directly below them. Keep in mind that this keyboard is pretty tall when it comes to total height and this is because the keys stick out quite a bit. The lighting looks really good and the software is really easy to use. But now for my final thoughts. Overall, I think this is a really good keyboard for the price. The pros definitely outweigh the cons and I'm not sure you can get a keyboard that's this good for this kind of price. If you're looking for a tactile keyboard that isn't obnoxiously clicky and loud, then this is definitely the keyboard to go for. My biggest gripe was basically the location of the caps lock and scroll lock lights and they're basically useless like I really didn't even think this keyboard had them just because you literally can't see them um, because of the tall keys that are right below them. Besides that though this is a really solid keyboard especially for the price and I definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching please leave a like if you enjoyed and consider subscribing if you want to see more. Peace.